Welcome everyone to the Win Now podcast hosted by Deborah Bird, founder and CEO of Plug and Play SM. I am so excited for today's show, so let's go. And then myself, Todd Bookspan, founder of Win by Noon. What's up, everyone? It's me, Todd Bookspan, and you are here for another episode of the Win Now podcast, and I am solo today. Um, no Deborah Bird. She is off with the Bird clan on vacation. First vacation they've taken as a family in a long time, so super excited for her. And today, I'm really going to talk about what are the top strategies for you to benefit from the Modern Real Estate Summit this week. So if you're a real estate agent, then this is for you to think about who is my mortgage advisor and are they going to be allowing me to watch this event with them? You can certainly purchase a ticket on your own, modernrealestatesummit.com. However, what I would encourage you to do is put your arm around your favorite real estate age, uh, loan officer and ask him or her, hey, can we watch it together? Um, I feel like there's great uh, opportunity in masterminding together. And then for the rest of you who are my mortgage folks, I um, really want to talk about how do I really maximize this? Now, ironically, full disclosure, most of you are going to be listening to this after the event on the podcast, um, but you're here watching it live with me now, either on Facebook or here in Zoom. Um, and it's funny because uh, Dave Savage, who I do a lot with in the mortgage community, wants me to talk about this tomorrow on the mortgage coach call. Um, that was after I already scheduled this. I don't know if he was just paying attention to what I'm doing here um, since I came up with this idea last week. And... Uh, uh, but you're going to get my best because I'm here now and I'm not being interrupted by anybody. And so my goal is to spend about 25 minutes plus or minus. So it could go 20, could go 30, could go 40. You know me, I talk a lot. Um, certainly I'll answer any questions from anybody who has them live, but really is what, what's the best way um, to get the most out of this. And so what I would say is, is you've got pre-event, you've got event, and then you've got post-event, right? So we've got three different areas where um, I'm going to focus on and really talk about how do you share the wealth with people who matter to you? And again, you could be a real estate agent and then who matters to you could be your team, right? Your loan officer who matters to you could be your team. Um, or you could all, as my friend Bill Hart would say, you're better together, right? We all should be working together on this and how, you know, how can we best do it? So, um, you know me, now, strategy number one, is, well, first off, you got to decide where you're going to watch it, okay? So um, for uh, my team, um, I'm going to be in Vegas doing this, talking to y'all live. Um, a little scared about that. My hair won't be quite so long. I let it grow long because I need to get it, get in a cut tomorrow. And it, it was sticking up really bad on my last call. But um, those of you listening can't see it, but it's actually fairly tall, not as tall as it was during COVID, but it's fairly tall. And um, my team is going to watch it. They were thinking about watching it in our office, but they pivoted and they teamed up with a title company and they're going to watch it at the title company. The title company has, has room for about 20 ish in their office. Um, we have, we're going to originally in our conference room that seats 12. And if we had more than 12, we were going to pivot out to our training room because um, we've got a training room that'll seat 30, 40 people in it, 50, if you really cram people in. And, uh, but, but so first off it's, it's, let's plan it. So let's just talk about that, right? It's at, it's at one Pacific time on Thursday, the 9th. So you all know when the time is some people are like, oh my gosh, I can't plan it. Todd, I'm listening to this on Monday, the, the Monday before. Some of you are listening to this after that. That's okay. If you're listening after the fact, think about what's the next event that you can replicate this strategy for um, to be a benefit to you, your team, your partners, your potential partners. And the, so number one is you got to get it scheduled, right? And so we already know the time. That's the easy part. Um, number two, we already know what it is, right? A lot of times we're like, well, I don't know what to schedule because where am I going to do it? Um, and um, and you're going to want to hang out to the end of this because the last strategy I'm going to talk about is going to be the future part. And that's where the magic is going to happen. And I think if you're a real estate agent too, that's actually going to be the biggest magic for you as well. Like that, that's like called foreshadowing in, in the radio world. Like I'm trying to tell you why you got to stay till the end. Um, and so first is the time and the event. We've already taken care of those for you. And then the third is going to be the place. So where do you want to do it? Um, again, some of you are saying, well, I just don't know that many people or I know I'm not going to make all the phone calls that you're going to tell me about in two minutes to make. Um, I'm going to tell you that you should make the calls, but um, it doesn't really matter. I saw people post pictures last year um, and the year before. Oh, and the year before that, right? We've done this three times previously. So this is a success formula that's been done before and you can replicate. And the minimum standard is two people, you and somebody else. You put your arm around her or him and say, gosh, I'm so glad you came with me. Let's watch this on my computer together. Or let's watch this in my 
uh, in my training, in my conference room on the big screen TV, right? Um, you're going to have the ability, you should have the ability to take what you see on your screen and push it up onto a bigger screen. And so I think most of you have somewhere that you can do that, but don't overthink it. Get three realtors and watch it on your screen, on your, on your computer at your desk, right? The realtor may have an office with a conference room you can use, right? I, most of the real estate companies I know have a big training room. And then they also have some client meeting rooms and most of the client meeting rooms have a screen on the wall and some type of a cord you can plug into your laptop to get it to, sh to get it to shine up there. So again, hint, go ahead of time, plug in, make sure you know how the technology works so that it's not one o'clock Pacific time and you're freaked out because you're going to miss the start of it because it's yes, a live event. So you can't really pause a live event. It's going to be going. Um, so think about the, the where. So again, doesn't even think fancy. Could be at your office. Could be who do you want to team up with, right? My team teamed up with the title company. Why do we team up with the title company? Because guess who's going to pick up the phone and call people? The title rep and the other title reps. They're going to invite people too that we don't know. So that's an advantage to us. And then um, I just mentioned a real estate company. Why not if you are a loan officer who has a realtor who's a big deal in their real estate company, why not see if you can do it there? And maybe they, and ideally you would do it in their big training room, even if there's only going to be four of you watching. Why? Because when other people walk by the training room, they're going to go, oh, I wonder what they're doing in there. And they're going to come in and they're going to watch with you and you're going to meet new real estate agents that way. Um, and so that is piece number one, the time, the place, the what, and the where. Um, and I love the idea of teaming up with a title company, a real estate agent, a real estate team, because they're going to invite people to be there with you. And then there's really no other prep. Okay. Could there be other prep? Yes. Like I can tell you at the title company um, in, in Arizona, it's going to be two, uh, two o'clock, right? Um, and they're doing lunch. Now, again, far be it for me to tell them to do otherwise, because I'm not planning the event because I'm going to be in Vegas. But I'm thinking it's a little late for lunch, but that's okay. They're going to have a lunch at one o'clock or something like that. People are going to show up. They're going to hang out. Guess what that is? It's time to connect with people. So that's great. Some people might just come right at 159. That's okay too. And they'll eat lunch while they're watching it. Um, but you could think of some snacks, depends on what time zone you're in. Um, and then if it was in our office, we would probably do a little happy hour afterwards. Now it's a title company. Um, maybe they have happy hour at the, at the, at the at that title company. I don't know. Um, the title company is across the parking lot from a couple of restaurants. So maybe they walk over there and have, who wants to come to the happy hour, right? So again, it's, it, it's, it's what do you do up front? What do you do the day of the event? So, um, and then we got in between. So before I get more into the, the weeds on the day of the event, um, here's the other thing you need to do between now and Thursday. So again, some of you are like, oh my gosh, I've got a limiting belief. I don't have time to do this. You have time because you know why? No offense, close your ears, realtors. They don't plan any better than you, right? They're, they don't have much going on on Thursday already. And you know what? Even if they say no, you at least made the invite. You at least made the offer. Um, and that'll come up for the after part, right? And so all I'd be doing is who do I know? And I'd be picking up the phone and I'd be calling all those people. So what did I do? Because you know me, I'm a little bit busier, especially right now since I'm planning for the event. I've got to run a mastermind the day after the event. Um, I got a lot on my plate today. So I just recorded a video. Okay. So here's my updated video that I recorded. I haven't sent it out yet. I sent out a video last week inviting people to it when it was going to be at my office. And then what did they do? They moved it. Um, why did they move it? Um, they moved it because Matt Baker, who's going to host it, is sick. He doesn't know if he's got COVID or he's got the flu, but he has 103 temperature. So we moved it out of our office so that we had co-hosts now. We don't have less pressure on the team to have to be the in-charge people. Um, so my new video is, um, this, is what it's, this is what it is. Hey, it's me again. Quick update on the Modern Real Estate Summit. Modern Real Estate Summit has been moved. It's now going to be at Old Republic Title at 24th Street in Camelback. Um, text me. I'll give you the real address if you're coming. That's all I need to know. We're going to have food and drink. So just show up and learn something. By the way, I think you all know it. I'm going to be the host in Vegas. So don't let that turn you off. But I will be there in spirit with you. Can't wait to hear that you went and hear what you learned. That's it, right? That was like the, the crux of my uh, message. It wasn't any better than that. Um, probably it was a little bit worse than that. I probably bobbled some words. And if I was really good, I would have gotten that address. I would send out some, I just want people to text me on it. So then I'll send a follow-up text to everyone who doesn't reply. Did you get my text? Are you coming to the event? Right. Um, what's better? Better is to pick them up and call. Right. And so if you have not seen the lineup for the modern real estate summit, um, if I was really good, I would share with you. I might be able to do that. Let's just see real quick. Um, I'm going to multitask here. So um, part of it when you call them is that 
you have the ability when you call them to um, tell them why it's important to you, right? Like what's exciting to you. Um, the, uh, um, sorry, now I got distracted because I went looking for that. And then Adam had a different thing in there that he wanted to show me. Um, I got to look for Adam, Dave. All right. So, um, so again, I think it's better in my opinion that you, um, that when you, All right, never mind. I'm not going to be able to find it. Let me just look one more place. Hang on. Um, I think when you um, when you know who the speakers are, so I'll talk about that in a minute, then you can actually explain to them why you believe it's a benefit for them to go. Okay? So again, you can choose who you think is the biggest benefit, and you can explain why she or he you think is worthwhile for them to look at. So I will, um, I'm going to put this picture into the Facebook group. When we get done, I'll put it into um, the chat so you can see the, this picture. And I'm in the process again, it's got to be there. It's right there, Dave and Adam. All right. So this isn't the exact one, but let me just share this with you real quick. Um, if you're watching this, oh yeah, you can both see it if you're watching this on Facebook or if you're watching here. So here's the show clock. So let's try to share that out. Okay, so if you guys are watching, you'll see it. So here's the show clock, right? Um, so here is the one o'clock start start time. Um, and so it's going to kick off with Spring Benson. Spring Benson is the number one person at Real Broker. Now, if you watch the Modern Real Estate Summer, the year, last year or two, maybe even all three years, but for sure the last year or two, she's been a speaker, right? She's number one at Real Broker. So if the agent that you are calling works at Real Broker, it's pretty easy to use Spring as the person you want to talk about. Um, now, listen, you'll notice that none of the realtors have what they're talking about. I don't even know what they're talking about. And transparently, I don't care. Um, we actually know what apparently looks like we know what the realtors are all going to be talking about. Uh, I'm sorry, the loan officer is going to be talking about, but I'm not in charge of herding the realtor cats. I'm only in charge of herding the loan officer cats. And these, the loan officers have given everyone what they're what they're going to talk about. Um, and, um, and so I'm super excited for all these people. But um, so spring, right? So I'd be talking about if they're at real broker, like, hey, she's awesome. She's number one at your brain. You might as well hear what she has to say. Um, Tristan Ahumada, he is the founder of Lab Code Agents. He's now actually with EXP. And so again, if the agent's an EXP agent, I'd be like, hey, Tristan Ahumada, founder of Lab Code Agents. Now for me personally, Tristan spoke at the first Modern Real Estate Summit. He only did short-term content and they were all freaking amazing. He actually was my favorite speaker at the Modern Real Estate Summit the first time he was there. I'm Craig Sewing, American Dream TV. Um, I have a long-term relationship with Craig Sewing. So I might talk to somebody who is thinking about branding themselves and doing um, you know, great video to, to talk about why Craig might be a, a value. Seth O'Byrne, he's with Compass Real Estate. Again, most of your agents probably aren't Compass because they might not even be in your town. Who cares? But he was on HGTV and the guy's really good. I mean, he's been at all the summits and again, very, very good content. He's very articulate at getting a point across. Um, and so he's going to be awesome. Um, Shannon Gillette, uh, she's great. She's in my market here in Phoenix. She has an amazing YouTube channel and she gets a lot of business on YouTube. However, she's going to be talking about listings. How do I know? Because I bumped into her last Friday and she's been talking about how to get more listings. She said she just spoke at an event and she taught on this for an hour. She's going to shrink it down to 15 minutes. And she said at that event, people told her she was their favorite speaker and they learned the most from her. So again, what if your agents don't want more listings? Guess what? Shannon's going to talk about how she's getting listings in our market. Um, and then last but not least, Jason Mitchell, freaking number one realtor in the world. Hello. Did over 3 billion last year. Um, so you can't tell me that 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 in itself isn't worth somebody getting something from. He's talked about leadership in the past. I don't know what he's going to talk about here, um, but he's but it's they're all easy people to sell. So think about what your conversation is. Who do you want to relate to in here? And then how do you transfer your trust in us for bringing them to the stage to the person to get them on with you, right? Um, so just think about what that might look like for you. Um, so um, that is the pre-event stuff. So dial, 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 dial. Even if you fill up your room, keep dialing because guess what? People aren't going to show, oh my gosh, I had a bad home inspection. I can't come. Um, and people are going to say, no, that's okay. Again, you're looking for the invitation. Um, now, Kim just asked a great question. If you purchase access, do you have access for longer? The answer is yes. You're going to get 30 days-ish of access. Now, here's the challenge. Again, you know me, I'm, I'm always really transparent with things. Um, I don't know where we're going to give access to it yet. We have a plan A and we have a plan B. We, the plan A might be coming into effect. There was a call on it this morning that I wasn't on. Um, plan A will be if you've bought a ticket, 
depends on when you bought it, but you got an email from winning at winbynoon.com. And so if you signed up last week, you got the email last week, I think on Friday, might be in your spam. If you just signed up over the weekend through today, you're probably not going to get that email from winning at win by noon until tonight or tomorrow. And that also may go into spam. And if you sign up after tomorrow morning, then you're going to get a receipt and your receipt's going to give you email on with a unique code for you to gain access. And that's also probably going to go to your spam. Um, that's going to come from win by noon. And so just know that that's really it. If you have problems, email win at winning at winning, winning at win by noon.com. And so, um, the reason I say that is because I would log in now, get in ahead of time. Who are you going to see? Me. Welcome. Um, I do a welcome video in there. And um, the platform we're using is Lightspeed VT. And Lightspeed is they make a pay for play model where people can buy access to their events and they take a percentage of that. Well, the weird part is, is we're not paying them that piece for that event. So in an ideal world, they're going to let us give you access for 30 days right in there. And you'll have access probably within 48 hours to the platform. Um, they may not do that. There's a cost for them to do that. We don't know what they're going to charge it to us. So I want to do that. That's the easy button. If not, plan B is, is that it'll probably take a week, but we will cut up the video and we'll put it all into a system. Ideally, we'd have it done quicker. We have the whole run of show into a system where you can watch it. And then we also want to go in and chop them all up. So if you just want to watch Jason, or you just want to watch Josh from the mortgage event, you'll be able to do that. Um, but we will have a system for sure by the end of next week where you will have access for 30 days. Um, so that's why I say 30 days-ish because you'll have access after the event. So um, I'll know later today, which would have been great for me to know before I went on here live and talk about it. But um, but yes, you will have access to it. Um, and we may offer an upgrade to get a year's worth of access. We've had a couple corporate buyers who bought tickets for all their loan officers. Um, and transparently, we did a deal for them. They paid more money to get a year access for all their LOs. Um, all right. So that's pre-event. Call, 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 connect, 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 connect. How can you get it out there, right? I've seen some people do videos on on Facebook. And I've even seen people, there's at least one person I know of, maybe two, they're doing it in freaking movie theaters. So I always say when I hear that, I'm like, oh my gosh, my head 40 feet tall. That is really scary, but that's okay. Um, that is fine. Um, not really, but that's okay. Good. Day of event. I'm already kind of giving you the day of event, right? Um, the day of event is make it an event, right? What can you do for them? So I can tell you again, um, you know, we are doing, um, you know, we have a book for everyone who's in live in person, right? So that book's going to have notes in it. Um, and some, you know, it's kind of a little cool book that we did. So what do you do? If it was me, I would print out, um, I'd have a notebook, like go to Staples and buy a notebook. I would print out pieces of paper. Like what could you do? You could get a piece of paper. You could steal our logo, Modern Real Estate Summit. You could print out the little thing with all the speakers on it. Just have that sitting there and you could staple it together with some stuff with note pages, right? I mean, the note pages don't have to be anything, you know, anything too fancy. Like I did, a, you know, I'm doing my mastermind and like, you know, literally all we did was we did notes. They're not you know, here I did it. It's fancier paper. You can't really tell that it's fancier paper, but it's kind of shiny feeling. So it's not like normal copy paper. And then we just put notes on there, right? It says think tank notes on it and it has a little wind by noon at the bottom. Um, and so again, make notes, make it so it's easy for people to take notes, right? Um, and then I would just do the event itself and make them have fun, right? Wow. And be intentional, right? Don't have this little thing out. Don't be texting people during the event, right? You're all in making an experience for them. And it's going to be fast, right? It's going to be two hours, 15 minutes ish. And um, cause if you notice on that schedule, I showed you, it's actually wrong. Um, I'll show it again. Cause you'd be like, what do you mean, Todd? I didn't see that it looked like it was wrong. Oh no. I already closed that thing out. Um, let me see if I can find it again. Hang on. It's actually got the wrong times. Oh no, this is the right one. Um, yeah, it looks yeah, this one actually is right. So I'll show it to you again. Never mind, I lied. It's correct. Originally, it was wrong because um, it's got about 20 minutes per speaker. Each speaker has five, 15 minutes to talk, and then we've got a three minutes in between each one. Um, and so, you know, you can see it goes for a little over, it'll go a little over two hours. Um, and uh, so that'll be, that'll be perfect. Um, now I'm looking at the morning one is off. Oh, well, that's all right. Listen, it's not going to be exactly on time. That's just the way it's going to be. I mean, we're going to be done on time. We're, we're going to start on time. Um, and we're really committed, by the way, to have it start at 1 Pacific 
1 p.m. Pacific, if the loan officer runs over, all that does is shorten up the lunch for the live people. The live people, the lunch people are going to be there serving at noon. And, you know, Renee could be up talking still, and then they might start at 1210. And that means they have to eat faster because we are starting at one o'clock for all of you. Um, and I joked about it this morning when I was on my coaching call with Jonathan Roach. And I said, you know, early in the end, we're going to be, we're, we've never done it live. We've done it. We've always been live, like me, Dave, and Renee have been sitting there, but the videos pop up, the video ends, right? So we haven't had to worry. We've known that the video was six minutes and 32 seconds. So we knew when six minutes and 32 seconds was over, we could time out the whole day and come out on time. The difference maker was us. Did we talk too much or too little in between each video? Now we got speakers. So what if someone practiced for 15 minutes and it takes them 16? That means we've got to talk shorter on our on our break. So we're going to be learning in on the timing when we do the modern mortgage in the morning, but by modern real estate summit, we should be spot on kicking ass making you guys look good um, and you all realtors enjoy yourselves um, and so again make the day of fun like what can you do can you have a trinket again i don't you know do you need to rush out and you know get a custom printed yeti water bottle no but if you have any you know tchotchkes with your name and burnt logo i'd great give them that but that's not what it's about you're providing an experience to them and so um so first off is make it happen call get people going second is Make it an event, make it fun for people. So they go, gosh, I want to come back to that again. You know, don't laugh. My team has never done it live, right? They've bought tickets. Um, last year, they bought a hundred pack of tickets and they gave out tickets to real estate agents, but they didn't do anything live. And I was like, you guys are lame. Um, if I was in town, I'd be doing it live. But, and I feel like it actually gives them an option to kind of like, you know, I'm up there so they can make fun of me. It's kind of fun. Like, let's, let's, uh, you know, let's uh, raise money for charity. Let's a dollar every time Todd says, um, or so, or uh, skips his words, whatever it is, you know, makes a mistake and has to go back and say it over again because it was dumb the first time he said it, right? They could get rich for charity. And then lastly is the after part, right? And um, and so this is, uh, there's two parts of the after part, right? So there's a part A and a part B. So I said, there's, I said, there's four strategies, right? One is before, one is during, and then there's after part A and after part B. So um, and there's really kind of after part C. After part C is, I can't do it this Thursday. My kid has a doctor's appointment and I have to be at the doctor's appointment. So then you could then say, okay, Todd said it's going to take at least a week to get the access. So you could say, okay, you know what? Two weeks later, I'm going to team up with the title company and I'm going to host it in my office and show it. And I'm going to start it at nine my time because that's a whole lot better for me. And then you're going to run it and you're going to show the video of it then, right? So you have that option as an option C, I think it's more fun when it's live, right? Like you made this an event. It seemed like this was a bigger deal than it is. I think it's not as big of a deal when it's recorded, but again, it's still cool. It's still something that, you know, that, that you can add value to them with. Um, option number one, the, there's, there's the A and the B afterwards, and they're both vitally important. So A is the, what do you do afterwards? So afterwards is I'm going to do one of two things, right? A or B. Um, at the minimum, I'm going to call all the participants and I'm going to thank them for showing up. Okay. Um, now you can do something cool. Like you could, like I went out and bought this book. It's not this great book here, but I haven't read this one yet. But let's pretend that this was your favorite book we just read. Who, not how. I'm, I just read The Gap in the Game. So I ordered both of them together because I decided this is probably my next book I'm going to read because I know Ben Hardy. He's a super good guy. I know him through a networking group, a, a genius network. I was part of an entrepreneur group. And, um, but you could give them all a copy of the book. Like you could have Renee's book there because Renee's the host. You get an order, Amplify book. You're going to have 10 realtors show up. You could have all a copy there. This is my friend, Renee Rodriguez, because maybe you met him at an event. Um, I think you're all friends with him because you see him all in the mortgage coach community. And or you could think you could send him afterwards. Hey, you know what? We really loved Renee so much. Hey, I got you a copy of his book. Thanks for coming to my thing. So again, that's an idea, but it doesn't have to be that. Um, sorry, that's like the over the top. Wow, I'm at the event when they show up. Afterwards, it's just thanks for coming. Um I'd love to set up a time to go over your top takeaways, right? You had to take notes. You're taking notes. Um, guess what? My goal is to pick the number one takeaway that I have that I think you all should have and your realtor should have. And my goal is to actually um, say it from the stage in our little time that we have between each person. Now, it may not get out every time. Um, I'm actually going to probably use my text number and say, hey, do you want those? My 18 takeaways from today um, in a document and I'll send them to you next week. Um, so I'm going to probably use that, but you want to know what are your takeaways. And I would set up a meeting with all four, eight, however many people. Awesome. Hey, I'd love to get together with you and have a conversation to go over your takeaways and compare them to mine. Great. Right? Cause you're here to help them grow. Um, and then I would be thinking about the people who didn't come. Okay. You know what? I know you're out trying to get listings, Mr. Realtor. 
hey, I saw this um, woman, her name was Shannon Gillette. She's from Arizona. She was really awesome. She talked about her listing strategies. Um, do you have a few minutes? I'd love to swing by your office. I'll bring my laptop. I'll show you that video and we can discuss it. So you have an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with agents who didn't come to the event. You have an opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one with the agents who did come to the event. Um, and so that would be my strategy A, right? Is what's my fault with those people that are going to be there? And then the ultimate strategy for me would be to say, hey, all of you here, thank you for coming. Um, I realize that you all might wear different uniforms when you go to work, but you're all my friends. And I think that I'm glad you all got to meet each other. What do you think? Sorry, I got itch in my throat. Hold on, I'm going to mute you before I cough. Now, a smart guy, when he does a recording, would have a bottle of water here, but apparently I left it in the other room. Um, I would say, hey, what do you guys think? You know, we met here. This is, you know, three o'clock our time on a Thursday. What do you think if we did this again next Thursday at three o'clock or in two Thursdays at three o'clock? Um, let's have a meeting and let's um, all come together and discuss our takeaways and how we can take action on it. Right. That's what I'm doing with all the live attendees. Right. Live attendees are going to come next morning. I'm doing a three hour mastermind on on um, implement in, implementation. I called it specific implementation, ma implementation mastermind. And so I would be trying to get those people in that room into a room in within a week or two weeks. And I would to do a debrief on the event. Again, should be led by you. What were your top takeaways? And then I would be turning that into my mastermind. Right. Awesome. Hey, this was awesome. Hey, you guys, let's do this. Are you guys okay if we do this again in a month? Um, maybe do it in three weeks, right? Again, pick a day. Is this day okay with all of you or whatever? Hey, let's move it to lunch on Thursdays. Whatever you think makes the most sense. I don't recommend on Monday or Friday because people tend to go out of town for three-day weekends. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are the best. Um, but I would be launching this into my mastermind, period. Super easy to get a mastermind going because they already know each other. They already have things in common that they want to learn together. They have you in common. And so I think that that is really the ultimate strategy that I would put into play is I would be turning it into a mastermind. And then again, what if you only had two people? Awesome. Hey, do you each know one person that you can invite? And we do a debrief for the event next week. Um, and then you go from two to four and then, or there's three and you go from three to six. And so you use that group. You really don't need a huge group to have a mastermind. In fact, if you get more than 10, it's kind of harder to have a mastermind. Um, you know, I'm going to have 40 at the mastermind after the event because some of the people are flying home, including some of the speakers are going to be there. Like, it's going to be a little more interesting to do that big of a mastermind. Um, okay. So someone says, so will we absolutely get access? Um, you absolutely will get access to it. Um, within a week, a week from Friday, you'll have access by, um, but hundred percent we've given access to, we've done five of these events before, and we've given access to all five of them for 30 days for everyone who bought a ticket. Um, the only reason I say that there's a question mark on that is what's the delivery vehicle for it. Um, and you know, a is going to be, it's going to be on that light speed pl platform that you watch on B is it's going to be on my win by noon platform that all my other coaching and stuff is on. So, um, it's super easy for, for either one of those. Um, and it's just going to be a matter of if they can get it done, that's the easy button to me and Adam, cause we don't have to do extra work. And if, we can't get it done. Uh, if they can, if, if they can't get it done, then that's fine. Adam and I will do it. We got plenty of time. We can get anything done in a week. So, um, but yeah, that's that's absolutely what uh, we're we are excited about. And um, yeah, and so again, like so again, Felicia's got a, a conflict at that time. That's okay. Then just plan it, but just don't plan it next week because I don't know what day next week is available. Plan it for the following week, right? Because for sure you'll have access by you know by then, and it's. Um, what we've typically done in the past, we put the full run of show in there because um, that's the easiest. It's already done. And then we pay somebody to come in and cut it into slices, which takes a lot of time and transparently costs a lot of money. And then we try to upload those because I think that's kind of the cool part on demand. Oh, I want to see what Jason Mitchell said. Boom, just watch Jason Mitchell. Um, and so that's the that's the other, the other piece of it. Um, and I would just tell you, I mean, these speakers are, they put a lot of time and energy into their presentations. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm super fired up. Um, you know, to hear what they have to say, because, you know, they really are, I mean, keep in mind, I mean, again, we didn't pay the, we don't pay the speakers. They're flying on their own dime. They're putting themselves up in a hotel on their own dime and they're presenting for our event, which we're super grateful for. And they are here to add value to you and the people that are there. They want to be liked too. Right. Um, and so, you know, you all know the game, right? They're, they're, you know, Tristan has a big, 
Facebook group you love everyone to become members of, right? Jason has the biggest real estate team in the country. Guess what? I mean, in the back of their head, they're just know that if they can do a great job of adding value, that people are like, oh, I should probably check out Jason and check out his team, right? So, um, but they're not, there shouldn't be any sales pitches from the stage. Um, I certainly hope not. That's that's what we've asked them all, but we don't preview it. Like I said, I don't even know what they're all talking about other than Shannon. Um, and Shannon's awesome. I've interviewed her before for my podcast and um, I've seen her speak this past year. So, um, all right. Before, during, after A, B, and then sort of C, right? C would be the second event. A would be your follow up with each person, which, and then really be more turn into a mastermind. I think that's the ultimate part because I've got so many of you who follow me and know that I think the mastermind is the way to get business, right? I, I told y'all my team did a mastermind. Why? Because I told everyone they should do one and I lead by example. And then the mastermind is still going on, even though I wasn't at the one last time because I was at some event. I'm not going to be at the one this week because I'm be at some event, but I have my business partner run it. If I wasn't there, I would have just moved the date. It's not that big of a deal, right? You can plan it out a month in advance. Hey guys, I can't do it on that first Wednesday of the month or the second Wednesday of the month. I got to do it on the third Wednesday of the month, right? It's It can go on. But um, the first one we did, realtor that I was introduced to by a title company, it's the first time I saw him face-to-face was on a, he was joined via Zoom to ours. He wouldn't even join, join live. Um, got a referral from him that day. And that referral, guess what? Closed with a team member of mine and we got a loan out of it the first day we did a mastermind. So there's a reason I teach you guys these things. It works. It's not that difficult as long as you take action. And so I'm always looking for what's the easy button to be from where we are today to where y'all want to be, which is with more business, more relationships. Um, I want the realtors who are listening to this to say, gosh, you know what? That is an awesome loan officer. I want to do business with, with her or him. And so I'm trying to give you the bite-sized steps to get there. It's not rocket science, um, but it takes action. And that's that's the hard part is I find too many people say they want to do it, but they don't do it and why. And, you know, I'm perfect proof of a loan officer who, if I would have taken action faster in my life, would be a lot further along than I am. Um, and the good news is, is that I learned how to become a person who takes action. And that's what I teach to all of you. And I'm trying to give you all the shortcuts to get there. So I appreciate y'all being here. I said I was going to keep it to 25-ish minutes. I meant 35 when I said that. Um, and just know I can't wait to see you all on Thursday. I can't wait to get your feedback. And just know, I mean, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I feel like um, I know that the Modern Mortar Summit is going to be awesome. Um, and I know that everyone who pays for tickets is going to get their value out of that. I actually feel my pressure to make sure that the Modern Real Estate Summit is the thing that we really deliver on because you're going to put your word out there to fill a room full of people, whether it's two people or 22 people or 32 people or one of those crazy people with a big movie screen. You're going to you're putting your reputation online based on what you expect us to deliver. So our goal is to kick some serious ass, deliver some serious value. I know those speakers and I know that they are all excited. They're all going to do a great job. And so um, based on that, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to being there. Looking forward to hearing from you all. Um, if you're doing the virtual, get, look for your login and log in, right? You want to log in early. You don't want to wait till the end, um, number one. And then number two is um, be early, be on time, practice your setup. So appreciate you all. If you have any questions, you can find me, Todd, at winbynoon.com. If you have questions specifically on the event or event day, winning at winbynoon.com, that just goes to Adam. So you can email Adam at winbynoon.com too. Appreciate you all. We'll see you all soon. Bye.